What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome to my new series where I will potentially be uploading more of these videos where I will be showing you uh, basic checks that are going to be helpful, hopefully, uh, along your with your antigen journey. So if you're too lazy to go to predictions, uh, I'm going to be showing you today, this is going to be a video about uh, deceleration. So obviously, when you move around, I'm going to show you, and if you rotate even slightly, as you as you can see, your character is decelerating, which means your speed changes and you're slowing down by a little bit. And obviously, you cannot turn around instantly and stuff like that. But as soon as we turn on speed, as you can see, I'm using speed right now. Not sure if you can see it, but our character does not decelerate, no matter how much we rotate around. Our speed is always the same, and we can do a lot of stuff with this. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple check that will detect this and it will also detect certain types of scaffold that are not decelerating when rotating and placing blocks or if I'm not mistaken this will also get some kill auras that do not strafe pretty much. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Alright, we are now on IntelliJ and I created a new class. I'm going to call this speed H and we are going to put this under the movement category since this is pretty much a movement check. And let's put the testing annotation. This is an annotation I have in my base where if this annotation exists in a class, uh, only that check will be loaded. And this can be useful for like testing new checks and stuff. Anyways, uh, description we're going to put checks for invalid decel oops, deceleration when rotating pretty much all right and this is where we handle the packet you obviously your base will be different but anyways this is a like all the work um, so we are going to be checking for the um, if packet actually let me do this differently if the packet is not a rotation packet we're going to return and now a rotation packet in my base it's a uh, either a client look packet or a client position look packet and if it's neither of them neither english okay we're going to return all right now let's get the movement data of the player so we're going to do movement data data equals profile get movement data now we're going to get the rotation of the player since we don't want to be of course we have to make sure that they made a big enough rotation so float delta yo which is the yo difference um profile get rotation data get delta yo and now we're going to get the speed of the player and we're going to do final double delta xc which is the horizontal difference in the movement packet uh, data get delta xz and we'll also need the last delta xz get the last delta xz okay now with those two we are going to make another variable called acceleration i'll just call it excel for now which is the absolute value of the current delta xz minus the last one so with this we are getting the difference between those two movements basically the the acceleration pretty much um, so yeah we are going to broadcast that but actually before we do let's check if the delta yo is greater than 1.5 f I guess uh, yeah we can check for any um, any rotation big or small since no matter how much you rotate you're still going to decelerate, but since we're going to be using a fixed value to flag for this, we're going to check if it's I if it's greater than this value, which is the lowest I could find in the check for now. Since th this is a, a simple check, so anyways, I'm sure you can make this better yourself. This is just a concept of how this check works. Um, so if the delta yo is greater than 1.5f, and we have to make sure that the player is moving and delta xc is greater than 0 0.1 0 0.15 I guess, that's good so if they're moving even slightly and they're rotating 
we're going to debug the acceleration. So I'm going to compile and I'll see you guys in game. So we are now in game and as you guys can see if I rotate around while moving as you can see we're getting very very small values but it doesn't matter even if I move around we are getting small values but sometimes it's positive which is pretty good now if we do the same thing with speed enabled as you guys can see it's very blatant the values are way way lower and sometimes it's even it even goes down to zero as you can see so what are we going to do to make this a little more obvious for us to detect we are going to um, multiply this deceleration value by 100 which is going to give us a more squared number and I'm going to show you guys how you can actually detect this so I'll see you on IntelliJ alright so the first thing we're going to do uh, is make another variable called squared acceleration which as I said we're going to get the acceleration and we're going to multiply it by 100 which is going to give us a more squared value so if we go ahead and debug the squared acceleration alright so as you guys can see these values that we're getting when we're, when we're playing legit are almost always positive and they're much bigger than what they used to be so right now if we rotate legitimately as you can see there is a difference even if we just make a sudden turn you know there is a difference between our acceleration S but as soon as we turn on speed even if we do it like this I'm gonna turn on speed as you can see it's very blatant we are not decelerating properly so yeah let's go ahead and turn this into an actual check alright we are going to turn this into an actual check now so if the player is rotating and they are moving and the squared acceleration is less than 1.0 e minus 5 which is pretty much um, 0 0.00001 I'm pretty sure yep yeah, that's it so if it's less than that we're going to flag uh, you can go higher you can go like 0 0.0001 or something but for this example we're going to make to be making this check you know uh, bufferless and with without any filtering so that's why we're going to be flagging you know if we were 100% sure that they're cheating anyways so uh, let's go ahead and flag we are going to fail the check and let's put a verbose um, delta y actually delta, y, delta yaw and excel squared excel delta xc delta xc all right so I'll see you guys in game all right so if you go ahead and play legit as you can see there's nothing we can even go on ice it will not detect us because we are properly following the micro client however as soon as we turn on speed as you can see even if we make a tiny rotation it's still going to flag no matter what and even if we go nice I'm playing legit and now I'm going to turn on speed yup it's pump legs and I think it should also get aura let's see nah nah okay you know what it's still a pretty good check I don't care <laughs> okay let me go ahead and try to use scaffold okay why is scaffold under the movement category anyway um, I th think it should flag after a while. It doesn't spam flag, but okay, it does spam flag, but yeah, you know. I think it flags more on Liquid Bounce client on certain settings. You know, if the client rotates and doesn't decelerate, it, if it doesn't have strafe on. And, um, you know, obviously this isn't like a complete check. Like you shouldn't like copy paste it on your anti sheet and expect it to work. Obviously you're probably going to need to do more filtering like velocity or water talking about water I didn't check for water did I huh that is very interesting anyways let me go ahead and use the elevated elevator oops I got stuck the hell 
Why? Why am I getting stuck? Okay, I'm confused now. Hold on. Okay, whatever. Anyways, even elevated elevator doesn't <laughs> doesn't seem to work. Um, let me go ahead and check for velocity, because I'm not sure if you need to account for that. Okay, this is a very bad way to test. Okay. Nick V2's daddy. Okay, I don't ask. I don't know. It seems to be working, although I'm pretty sure you're still going to need to filter some stuff. Let's try to enter Pearl. Okay, it has a cooldown, whatever. Um, if we like jump and then Pearl. Nope, doesn't seem to do anything with teleports. Anyways, it seems to work. Um, although, as I said, um, you should probably filter this out more and, you know, check this on yourself. Uh, I just showed you, this is like the concept of the check. I believe this is a very helpful check to have on your anti-cheat if you're not making like a full prediction or like a full speed check and you have modules such as like uh, speed A, speed B, etc. And yeah, that's the check. And we also have the debug that we put. As you can see, it's very obvious that, you know, or this we're not decelerating properly. Anyways, um, yeah. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and like. And I'd like to see if you guys enjoy this series. If you do, I'm going to be making more of those videos soon with more checks. And yeah, thank you for watching.